Let's go to some, poor, some sport. World champion shot putter Tom Walsh and pole vault star Eliza McCartney have been confirmed as the headline acts for the Athletics New Zealand International Series in March, just two weeks before the Commonwealth Games. The series will feature events in four different places, including Walsh's hometown, Timaru. Not long ago, he was still a builder there. Christchurch, Auckland, and the, Iconics Cook, uh, the iconic Cook's Garden in Whanganui, of course. Sports reporter and Clay Wilson caught up with Walsh and McCartney at the announcement in Auckland today. In his truly Kiwi style, Tom Walsh describes 2017 as one hell of a year. Probably fair enough when you consider, among other achievements, he did add a world championship crown to his increasingly impressive shot put CV. The 25-year-old got five weeks off at the end of his busy season, giving him the chance to throw his builder's apron back on and do a few days work on his own almost completed house. But breaks for elite athletes are really too long. And ahead of a 2018 that includes a World Indoor Champs and Commonwealth Games, Walsh is already ripping back into training. At 6 foot 1 and around 120 kilograms, he somehow managed to add a backflip to his bag of tricks and says he won't be slowing down over the holiday period. A lot of people in the working world have time off over Christmas and New Year's. I, don't, I can't afford to do that very important time of year for me, you know, because I've got a comp in late Jan to get ready for and, uh, you know, it's, it's, I've just got to work right through it. The same is true for pole vaulter Eliza McCartney. 20-year-old McCartney thrilled the nation with her shock bronze medal at last year's Rio Olympics. But the end of her 2017 season was not so memorable, as she struggled with an Achilles injury that left her to settle for ninth at August's World Champs. McCartney's National Secondary School's record of 4 metres 10 was also broken at the weekend by teenager Olivia McTaggart who shattered the previous mark by 20 centimetres. Despite that, McCartney says her rehab is tracking well, and she says this year's negatives will become positives in the long run. You've got to have those hard times to know what it is to have a good time, and, and you've got to be able to get through those hard times so that you know how to, how to deal with them and how when they come up again, because they probably will, yeah. <laughs> let's face it, they'll come up again. So um, I think it's really valuable to have, been, have gone through it, and luckily it wasn't such a major year this year, so it didn't matter so much that I had to find my feet a little bit through injury. Walsh also battled injury issues in 2017, but says he's now back in tip-top shape. It bodes well for a big performance at the World Indoors, where he is defending champ, and the Commonwealth Games, where he is determined to go one better than his silver medal effort in 2014. Walsh says the New Zealand series will be ideal preparation for the Gold Coast, and he can't wait to host one of the events in his hometown. I'm sure that there'll be a few messages and a few phone calls to Sean, mate, about, uh, hey, hook a brother up, you know, and uh, get, me in the, get me into the hospitality kind of table and things like that, but uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm really excited to take a community event back to Timaru and, and involve the kids, involve the public in, in what I do. McCartney will also play host to an event, with the Vertical Pursuit Pole Vault competition on the move after its first edition early this year. The event will fittingly be held directly in the shadows of the Sky Tower, and Athletics New Zealand are hoping for a crowd of a thousand plus to create what should be a superb setting for some of the sport's best. McCartney has yet to set herself a specific target for the event, but says fans can expect all the athletes to be putting up some impressive numbers. Because it's so close to the Commonwealth Games, it's going to be my second to last competition before I head into the pre-camp before I go away. So it's, it's going to be a big one. It's going to, you know, you're going to want it to be going well and be ready because it's, it's, it's your last kind of test of how you're going to be going. So I think it's going to be really exciting to do it in such a cool atmosphere. We'll just make it even better. The series starts with the Timaru Super Shot on March 14 and wraps up with the Sir Graham Douglas International in West Auckland 11 days later. For Checkpoint, Clay Wilson.